Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in the longest time, but I am 37 weeks pregnant today, so I wanted to give you a 36 week pregnancy update. Now, I haven't been doing a lot of these pregnancy updates um, like other YouTubers because I feel like there wasn't really a need for it. The things that I was seeing on YouTube, they they pretty much described what I was going through and I didn't really feel like it was necessary or like I had something to contribute. But last week, I definitely had some different kind of symptoms and different things that happened that I wanted to tell you about just in case it... I don't know, just in case it related to somebody else because um, I was definitely having some different things happen that I hadn't read about. And I'm one of those people that I've done so much research, I've done so much reading, I'm sure you have. It's like kind of part of the nesting thing or you just wanna read the Pinterest and blogs and like find out everything you can about being pregnant and having a baby. So I just wanted to share some things with you and now we'll hop into that video. First of all, if you're not pregnant or if you're newly pregnant and happen to be watching this, I would recommend doing a lot of research. That's one of my tips for you today is do your research because it helps. Knowing information and just having knowledge about what you're going through and what you're going to go through, it makes the process so much more calming and exciting because you're not just scared about everything. There are so many unknowns, especially when you're pregnant for the first time. And you just, there are so many things you just don't know and you've never heard before. Um, if you've been around a lot of people who are pregnant, that could be different, but still some of the stuff is like really technical and really body related. And not everyone talks about all the little bitty things. So I would definitely re recommend going on whattoexpect.com, um, Mama Naturals website and YouTube videos. I love her. Um, and just, just sites like that in addition to Pinterest and finding out everything you can. Pinterest really helps um, later in the game. I think it's not as much helpful with the actual things that your body is going through. But definitely read as many articles as you can. Get the What to Expect app. Um, there are other apps too. That one is my favorite though. I ended up deleting some of the other ones I got. Um, and yeah, just find out everything you can about this process. It'll really make everything go so much more smoothly for you. Okay, so like I said, um, week 36 for me was last week. And I definitely experienced... Oh, it's so exciting and it's so crazy at the same time. Okay, so I started having contractions last week. And they started Monday night um, and I was having contractions for several days. It was three or four days. Um, but for me, they would only happen at night. Um, and it, it varied. Sometimes it was like 10 to 11. Sometimes it was one to three. Um, it was, it was not consistent. It was not at a regular interval, but they were contractions. They're not really considered Braxton Hicks because they wrapped all the way around. They resembled the exact description of actual contractions. And, um, it felt so weird. It felt so weird. Um, it came with a lot of lower back pain. Um, but um, it it's basically classified as pre-labor or early labor and it's not something to be worried about um, because there is time. Basically, my sister-in-law was also pregnant the sa um, around the same time as me. She had her baby a couple weeks ago, so she was a little bit ahead of me. But she had contractions for several weeks before going into actual labor. And... Um, so you can expect that from your body. Um, it's prepping you. Um, it's getting your uterus ready to contract and have the actual labor and delivery. So that started for me last week. Um, but then it stopped after a couple of days. And then this was what was weird that I had never read about and never heard about. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on with my body? And basically I was having menstrual type cramps Sometimes it was all day. Sometimes it was for hours at a time. And now I'm talking about 
the kind of cramps that we describe when we're actually PMSing. It wasn't like contraction, like the actual definition of a cramp would be more like a contraction, but it's not like that. It's just that achy soreness that's going on. And um, I also had um, sharp pains. Now one of my friends um, told me that was probably, again, the round ligament pain that was starting to come back. And that kind of described it, but there's just shooting pain in your back, shooting pain in your vagina, shooting pain um, just in that whole area around your lower belly. And you're just like, okay, it's getting ready. There's stuff going on down there. Um, and I wanted to tell you about that because that was something I definitely had not heard from anyone. I did not expect to experience that achiness as everything is loosening up. I just thought, oh, well, my contractions have started, so now I'm going to have contractions for weeks. And that didn't really happen. My contractions stopped. And then I had lots and lots of achiness and soreness. And it's that kind of thing where you get out of bed and you're like, who oh, I am huge. I don't think I can walk anymore. Although walking is good. Keep getting your walking in. It's so helpful and it, it does make you feel better afterwards. But especially in the middle of the night, I was getting up to go to the bathroom. I say was, but I still am. Every hour, pretty much on the dot. And, um, and so just get that initial roll, trying to get off of the edge of the bed and then walking to the bathroom that that's when I, for me, I really felt the achiness the most. I was like, whoo, this baby, he's getting low, he's getting ready, but you could just, you feel everything in your pelvis and you just let, you're like, I didn't even know I had these many muscles down there. Um, so I wanted to tell you about that because that was a little bit different, something that I was experiencing that I totally hadn't read about before. As far as what I've been eating, um, it hasn't really been that different than before. It's not like, oh, week 36 changed all that much. But at the same time, it actually, it kind of did. I, all of a sudden, I was like, I've gone through these periods where I've like, I'm not hungry at all. And so I like skip a meal or eat irregularly or like little bits at a time. And then I would be just like, the next day I would be so starving. I would eat like three meals when I, sh like in the, course of one meal like so that was kind of weird I had this and in addition to that I had this extreme moodiness which I really haven't had all that much throughout my pregnancy um one day I was really really just sad and kind of mopey and kind of crying cry and um and another day I actually for several days I was really angry and I just I didn't know why I felt so so angry and that's not me at all and I knew it was hormonal and I was trying to give myself grace because I was like okay it has to be the hormones because this is not me I was mad at everyone and everything and everything was going wrong I'm like my life it's it's everything is haywire what's happening but I Thankfully, I knew it was hormonal. I'm like, okay, this isn't going to last forever. It's just, and it did. It, it it ended after a couple of days. I was like, okay. And then I was happy and had energy. And so, but it was, it was rough because we actually, we live with other people. And so you have to keep yourself in check and keep yourself under control. You can't just rage at everybody that doesn't work that way. <laughs> So the moodiness, definitely, that was definitely something that was different this week. My nesting has been in full-blown mode. Um, um, I had my baby blessing on Sunday. So that was like the week before week, or the couple days before week 36. And so Monday and Tuesday, I was putting all those new gifts away and doing laundry. Okay, that's something that's been interesting to me about nesting is for me, like, okay, even more than, talk about relaxation, more than taking an Epsom salt bath or watching a movie and lying on the couch, like, that has not been relaxing for me recently. I'm so much in nesting mode that I have to feel productive. And so um, 
So for me, one of the most cathartic things I can do while still being productive is laundry. So I've been loving doing all the baby laundry and washing his new clothes and um, the baby blankets and the little tiny socks and then putting them away and folding them and just, I don't know, there's something about touching the clothes and the things he's going to be wearing has just been so, that that is like the perfect cathartic release for me where it's, it's restful and it's rejuvenating, but it still makes my new mama heart just go, just be so thankful and full of love. And, um, so yeah, so that was, that's something that I do when I want to rest, but I'm still in complete nesting mode where I'm like, okay, I have to get things done. This place has to be ready. So, um, yeah, I've really been enjoying doing laundry, <laughs> which sounds so funny, but that's, I don't know, that's just been what I've been loving. I did have a really, really busy week last week. So, um, uh, among some of the things I did was I had uh, my lactation consultant appointment. It was basically a one-on-one -on -one breastfeeding class. I recommend that so much if you have the resources. Uh, mine is, was free through WIC. So if you can do something like that where your insurance will cover it or through the hospital, I definitely recommend getting as much information through the lactation consultant as you can because then it's not like being waited on for for the delivery and you're like freaking out. You're like, I want to breastfeed, but I don't know anything about it. Um, so, and it's, it's so much more informative than just reading about it um, or even talking to other moms who have done it because they, they're trained so they basically like have an education in breastfeeding not to say that talking to other moms isn't a good idea because that is as well but I, I really appreciated the breastfeeding class. Um, another thing I did was take my last big trip into the city. Um, I drove to Memphis to get my nails and my toes done. They're dark navy blue. And um, oh, that is, okay, you have to do that. Like, it doesn't matter when in your pregnancy, but sometime at the end, you have to get your nails and your toes done um, because it's relaxing. It makes you feel so good. It makes you feel so pretty, even though everything else in your body, you may not be feeling so pretty. Um, and then it gets you all ready for labor and delivery because you're going to be wearing a hospital gown and those mesh diapers and you're not going to feel completely great. But at the same time, the process is going to be so good. Just having your baby and experiencing the miracle of birth. So, but get your nails and toes done first because it'll make a world of difference. And that was one thing that I read on every site and I'm really, really glad that I had it done. I'm hoping that it lasts, but I got shellac so that it would last several weeks for sure. And I'm feeling pretty great. So that is that. Um, a couple things else. I was at Target picking up a bunch of, okay, speaking of nesting, I was picking up a bunch of extra things that we needed, um, necessities, toilet paper. Most of it was very practical. It wasn't like frilly, oh, I'm going to get in more outfits. No, we have plenty of outfits. We've been needing everything practical, um, like diaper cream and stuff like that. Um, so I was picking up some stuff Actually, I wasn't at Target this time. I was at Walmart because I had gift cards from the baby shower. So I was at Walmart picking up practical stuff. And um, and I found this bin. Okay, you know how they always have the $5 movie bins? Well, they had a $3.74 movie bin. So I picked up some really fun movies. Okay, this one, Once Upon a Forest. I'm so glad I found this. I, I've never known what this movie was called, but I watched this growing up um, in preschool at daycare, and we would watch it on a regular basis, and it is the cutest, sweetest cartoon, and the characters are so lovable. I was so happy to find this, because I, I would have never known what it was called. And so I'm looking forward to sharing this with my baby. Um, okay. This was a, a $5 movie in the 374 bin, so I was a little, I was like, err. But Home Alone 2 is one of my favorite movies ever. So I had to get it because I was like, this is one that I'm gonna wanna watch over and over again. Um, 
I'm actually, even though I'm an actress, I'm not a big movie person. I don't like having DVDs because I don't like watching movies over and over. But this one is such a classic and such a favorite that I definitely wanted that on hand. And this was actually what I saw first. It's um, Thomas and Friends, Thomas's Snow Surprise and Other Adventures. And um, this was definitely actually what caught my eye at the beginning. I was like, oh, it's a movie bin. Oh, it's Thomas the Train. Oh, it's 374. And so I, I'm just so looking forward to having a little boy. Anyway, that's the end of my video. I wanted to keep it as short as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful. And feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. None of them are like this. Although I will be doing a couple more if I can. I don't know. I don't want to make any promises. It's been so long since I've made a video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your pregnancy.